portraits have been used as a symbol of power or wealth, as a historical record. But they can also do more than that. This portrait shows a weathered man staring into the camera, surrounded by what I can only describe as junk. It's a captivating and deliberate shot taken by a concerned photographer who believes art can help change the world. Hi, my name is Aaron Draper, and I am a professional photographer, and I am a professor of photography at Chico State University. Aaron took this photo in the summer of 2014 as part of his master's thesis, a photography project he calls Underexposed. What I know about this man is that he's homeless. He's a former veteran. He's been on the streets for about four or five years. The objects surrounding this man are some of the things that he's collected from dumpsters, things that he's traded for and got from friends of his, and things that people have given him, and he's selling them on the corner to people who are passing by. Aaron chose to photograph the homeless community because he felt a special connection to them, a connection he wanted to share with others. I guess it started with a love of literature, and John Steinbeck really got me involved with this project. I really enjoy his writing. The Grapes of Wrath of Mice and Men, and he always sort of took a stance for the poor. I grew up relatively poor. Because of that, I've always wondered about homelessness and who they are and how they survive. I see a people that are resourceful and that have found a way to live in the world where nobody else would want to live and in a way that nobody else would want to live. I admire their stories that I believe that they wear on their faces. The homeless walk around with the lines on their faces of everything they've ever done. And I believe that there are some of times their, their hard lives really show on their faces, which to me create beautiful portraits of texture and shape and color. I also always felt that photographers have a duty to use their art to change policy, to change people's ideas, and to make people feel and think differently. Aaron is doing more than that. Not only does he pay them for their time, he also tries to track them down later to give them a copy of their photo. I've been able to find most of them and head back and find them after I've printed their image and some of them I'm still looking for. I would hope to think they get a glimpse of how beautiful and amazing they can look when lit correctly, when somebody takes the time to, to produce a beautiful portrait of them. Check out this story on why America used these famous photos as propaganda. They understood the power of photography, that the struggle in these images might create a new awareness, or as one FSA leader said, introduce Americans to America. And please subscribe. <laughs>